It's very strange. It, the music is backwards, the movement is backwards. I'm virtually naked when I start, so it's, it has an impact. Something is happening and you don't quite understand what it is. Laurie has performed this all over the world. Everybody knows this act. I still get nervous for it. It's still something that I have to focus on because it's so unnatural. Unless I screw up, it should be the same every single time. I'm Laurie. I perform at Super Frico. I'm part of the Super Feats team. So I do acts in the restaurant, in the party lounge, in the ski lodge, as well as appearances, little moments with people dining. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Nice I'm to see you. Lovely to see you too. I'm super relieved that you're the one who's going to be <laughs> setting this up for me. Because no pressure, but it's kind of, it's very important the way you set it. Okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Noted. <laughs> Don't mess this up. Yeah. <laughs> My name's Johnny and I'm the show tech of Super Freako. Today I'm learning to set up uh, Laurie Hagen's reverse strip act, which is uh, really fun. Um, I first saw this act way over a decade ago in London. It is very specific, very technical. So to be part of the setup is a little daunting, but also I'm really, really pleased that we finally have this in Super Freako. I will preset things as much as possible for you backstage. Yep. Um, I'll page the curtain for you as well so that when you come in you can just carry everything together and you don't have to go back and forth. Okay, great. So the reverse strip is an old genre of a burlesque act where you start off naked and you put your clothes back on as opposed to the other way around. It's been done for a long time. I created this version of the reverse strip for a show and the brief for the act was to do a reverse trip in a classical way but added modern twist to it. And the simplest idea was to actually do the number in reverse, reverse the music, reverse the movement. I was pretty convinced it would have been done already because it's such a simple idea. I looked and looked and couldn't find what I had in mind so I thought I was onto something. Then I started working on it and pretty soon I started realizing why no one had ventured into doing it because it was a really intricate process. To put it mildly, it was a balling of a project. Also, I was pretty limited with the amount of clothes and the kind of garments that I could get back into. I quickly realized I was down to hat, shoes, coat and loose dress because I needed to be able to step into it and get back into it. I'm trying to create a rectangular shape for my feet to fit into. Great. <laughs> and then with the straps, am I like making sure these straps are out so you can grab them? Precisely. Okay. So yeah, as long as I can see them properly, then that's perfect. And I think this is the right place for it. The music I use is a fantastic blues track. And I'd done an act to that song played forward and really liked it. Uh, so I tried it backwards and it sounded, of course, it sounded very strange, but you could still get a really nice build and there were still phrases in there and accents that you could really recognize. So my act starts with a musical intro. I walk backwards on my tippy toes now. I do movement that is teasing. That would be the end of my act. Then the first thing I get back into is my dress and I put my coat back on, give a few people a knowing look. I grab my chair and I push it backwards and exit on the other side of the curtains. Super Frico is an experience that you haven't had before. You come and you have dinner and you have drinks. That's something that you expect. And then there's everything else that happens around you that is not expected and that's a bonus, hopefully. Super feeds are little pop-up moments to proper acts where you know you are focusing on something if you wish to do so, then it's something that you can glance up and enjoy for a second and go back to your wonderful meal and, and your wonderful company. The vibe always feels warm and inviting and 
ready for a good night. There's a sense of anticipation to the atmosphere in there. Something happening in reverse and then it disappearing in the other curtain again into a space that people don't see. That's pretty super freako to me. What I get out of performing for people is the connection and being really close to people. I've always enjoyed being in small venues where you're right in people's faces. It's an absolute joy. Like I get endorphins from working here. It makes me happy and you can, you can see people having a good time. So it's sharing that experience. <laughs>